Hello friends. I cannot believe it's been three years since we reviewed the Nikon D780 DSLR here on our channel. Time flies. Raymond and I both thought maybe it was a year and a half ago, but it was April 2020. And that's just a long time. It's even longer in camera years. I'm not sure how long a camera year exactly is. Maybe like dog years. At the time, no one really knew perhaps not even Nikon, if the D780 would be the last DSLR that Nikon produced, or if it was one of the last in the entire industry. Three years later, it's pretty safe to say that Nikon is focusing their energy entirely on the Z system, frequently adding lenses and mirrorless camera bodies, and we've talked about many of them. With 2020 hindsight on where the industry has gone the past few years, we do feel that it's important to again talk about the D780 because in our opinion, it becomes more historically significant as each day, year, and camera year passes. This month, we borrowed this particular D780 from KEH's used gear collection. As usual, when a camera's condition is rated highly by KEH, it's usually indistinguishable from new, and that is what we seem to have here. It's in great shape, and the D780 truly is the culmination of Nikon's DSLR expertise. Not only did we borrow this gear from KEH, this portion of the video is sponsored by KEH. If you aren't familiar with them, KEH buys and sells used photography equipment. Cameras and lenses like this D780 and the 135mm f2 with defocus control that we borrowed with it, but also tripods, monopods, lighting, and all sorts of accessories. We were customers of KEH before we started working with them, and we've continued to sell our unused gear to them and purchase used gear through the site. In fact, I'm currently stocking the site for one thing in particular, the Nikon 35mm f1.4 AIS lens. That lens will bring character to my photos, and I love the physical feel of it when it's used on my FM3A, but another reason to purchase used is for the environment. Rather than purchasing something newly made, going for something used helps keep our earth and our landfills a little less cluttered. Every little bit helps, and it is Earth Month after all. I do have affiliate links for you in the description of this video, along with codes. I have a code for you to get a discount when you purchase used gear, and a code for you to get a bonus when you sell your used gear. I hope you can make use of those codes, and thank you to KEH for supporting this channel. In our review of the D780, I said this. The D780 is for the lens junkie. You don't just have one 50mm f-mount lens. You have three of them from three different generations. When Nikon didn't put a focus motor in some of the lower end bodies, you sat puzzled, wondering why Nikon even used the word camera to describe them. In short, you're committed to the F mount across decades. You're not just a collector though. You've captured fantastic images, hung great prints, and you're eagerly awaiting until the world is normal again so that you can take that next great trip to that fabulous destination that will advance your own photography. You don't want Z lenses. There's only a handful available. You have your own lenses already. They work for you and you expect to own more. For you, Mr. or Ms. Lens Junkie, I present the Nikon D780. And all of that still holds true. I think it's even more significant now though because with the introduction of the Z9 and the continuous development of the Nikon Z system, it's not hard to guess that the D780 is Nikon's final DSLR, perhaps along with the D6. But what makes the D780 special? Is it just the lenses? Sort of. It's the capability overall. The D780 gets much of its DNA from the mirrorless Z6, with one very important difference. First, though, the similarities. The D780 is the only Nikon DSLR ever with on-sensor phase detect focus. This leads us to suspect that it has the same sensor as the Z6. And what this means is that when you're using this camera through the optical viewfinder, it's much like other DSLRs with Nikon's tried and true phase detect autofocus. But unlike other Nikon DSLRs, when you switch it over to live view, with this camera, you have phase detection and contrast detection autofocus working in your favor with face and eye detection. 
but with the speed and reliability that your friends brag about with the Z9, Z7, Z6, and the other Z bodies. In short, the Z780 takes the best features from the Z cameras and applies them, at least when you're in live view. There's one key difference between the D780 and the Z bodies. The D780 takes F-mount lenses without an adapter, and it autofocuses with lenses like this 135 millimeter AFD with defocus control that I mentioned a minute ago. This is the only Nikon DSLR that will give you phase detection and face and eye detection with AF lenses like this one. The D780 has the in-body focus motor. If you put this same lens on a Z body, you'd have to focus it manually. So you'd lose the benefit of face and eye detection. However, again, with the D780, you get these features in live view only. It focuses wonderfully when using the optical viewfinder, but the latest Z body capabilities are in this camera only when using live view. Let's talk a little bit about this awesome 135 millimeter AFD DC lens. DC means defocus control. One, it's an F2 135 millimeter lens with autofocus. That's legit mild telephoto with an F2 aperture. That's hard to find. Two, you can control the out of focus background and foreground, the bokeh, with a dedicated ring on the lens. The effect is subtle, but it's controlled independent of aperture. For a portrait photographer, this is really nice. It's something that with most lenses would only be practical to adjust with some masking in Photoshop or Lightroom. Here, you're making those adjustments on the lens itself. Why not experiment with this lens on the D780 that can actually use autofocus with it while also using head and eye tracking? Oh, and one other quick note about this camera, two memory card slots. I know many of you out there are shooting with DSLRs. Not everyone out there is updating their camera every year or two. I think that's what, every three months in camera years? <laughs> And I also know that many of you are going to shoot DSLRs until the Illuminati comes and physically takes them away from you. <laughs> For Raymond and I, we're mostly mirrorless back there with some exceptions, but I will tell you this. If we were DSLR junkies, we would be grabbing a D780 or maybe even two to keep the dream alive. Also, last year from KEH, we bought the Nikon F6. In our opinion, it's the last great film SLR. It's sort of a D2X and a smaller body with film as the sensor. The D780 gives us that same greatest of the last generation vibe, meaning that it's got everything we've come to expect from DSLRs, but with a strong nod towards mirrorless by effectively running a Z6 or 7 firmware when using live view. It's the same way that the F6 is easy for us to use and navigate based on our experience with our past D2X. Just as the F6 works great today, I expect D780 users will have their cameras working great years and perhaps even decades from now. Don't get me wrong, it could be easy to look at the D780 and say, bye bye grandma and grandpa. <laughs> But if you do have F-mount lenses of various vintages and you'd love to keep using those lenses with their full capabilities for a long time to come, the D780 is really where it's at. You can use the lenses in ways that you can't on any other DSLR. Oh, and by the way, if you have AI or AIS manual focus lenses, it will meter with them and it won't focus for you, but it will give you focus confirmation. Not bad, just one thing. It can act like a Z camera, but it won't use Z lenses. This is an F-mount camera, so that's what you'd be using on it. But virtually any F-mount lens, with some unique exceptions, will work on this camera. And all flavors of autofocus lenses will work like they're on a Z camera when you're using live view. Is the DSLR dead? Well, you can get a brand new D780 today, or previously loved from KEH in great condition at a discount. Each time we've checked recently, they've had two or more in great condition, but I want to warn you about something. When Raymond and I, mostly Raymond, decided that we wanted an F6, they were recently out of production and it was not easy to find one right away. We had to stock KEH's site for one and then we borrowed it and then we bought that borrowed one and then we bought a grip for it and then lenses started showing up that can be shared between our F6 and FM3A. So my word of warning is this, that if you think that this is a camera you're interested in, 
They do seem to have a decent, frequently new and used availability now, but that can change quickly, especially as people start to realize how great a camera this is and how very likely it is to be the last of its breed. And that's all for today. What do you think? Did you know about the features of the D780 that I mentioned today? Do they matter to you? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thank you to KEH for continuing to support this channel and thank you for watching.